what is up you guys um for another video in today's video we're going to be running up another q a this is going to be my third q a on the channel i just want to say thank y'all for the support on the FNAF video man y'all ate that video up bro y'all went so crazy on that video and part two is coming soon part two is actually it, the q a is going to drop and then financial friday so really get ready for that I want to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting me. We really at 1.1 thousand subscribers. That sounds so weird to say, but that's what that's what it is. It is what it is right now. We got some perfect questions, and I got the perfect answers. The realest Q and A, the realest Q&A. You already know how I'm coming. Um, without further ado, we're gonna jump into it. What's happening? Eight people? Whoa! Whoa! What's up? Whoa! Whoa! What's on my chair? What's on my chair? I'm gonna try to fly through these questions for y'all young boys, uh, but answer it obviously like the realest would. Now, first question by Gumbass. I don't know what that means, but that's his name. Son, by the way. I seen your father in the comment sections one time. I think it was under that granny video that you made of me. You tripping, my boy. I didn't even go lie. All right, he says, how do you keep motivation for YouTube? This is actually really nice and really nice question. And the reason why I keep motivation for it is because I have something to prove, bro. I have something to prove. Now, you might be wondering, what do you have to prove? It's like when people, uh, it, it rarely happens, but when it happens, bro, it just gives me fuel. For some reason, like when I, when someone compliments me, I don't, I don't know how to take compliments. That sounds so weird, but every time someone compliments me, my brain just automatically thinks that they're trying to like pity me, like they feel bad for me. Like say a girl said I look cute. Oh, hell which no. I really don't, but if it happens, I'm like, well, you're lying. You know what I mean? But I'm like, oh, thank you. Appreciate the compliment. But my brain, my brain only operates off negativity. So if you, like, say if you, like, say something crazy about me. Like, oh, yeah, you never gonna make it on YouTube. So, what? Okay. But say if you, like, you, you never gonna make it on YouTube. Like, you're trash. You're sorry at this game. For some reason, that makes me just so ready. It, it don't even make me mad. It make me, like... Or will it sound to prove you wrong. Like, I don't know, that's like one of my favorite things to do is prove people wrong. But besides that, man, that's that's what really motivates me that you know, the people who be talking crazy, you know what I mean? And also I just wanna be the best. Um, as weird as that sound, I wanna be the best. Yeah, but that's just to sum up that question a little bit. On to the next one. Alright, next question by J World43. Love your content. Question though, what face cam do you use? I use an iPhone. I literally use an iPhone SE2 or SE second gen. I don't know what this is. But if y'all don't know, I do everything on my phone. Everything I do is on my phone. Face cam, phone. I use my phone and my PlayStation. That's how I do everything. Um, so yeah. All right, next question is by Not Even Drake, LOL. I think this dude is Prehistoric Monkey, if I'm not mistaken. I think you DM me and said, like, oh, I switched my name to Drake or something like that. But this must be Prehistoric Monkey from the last Q&A. If not, I think the first q and I don't know. But he says, thoughts on TikTok. Bro, I actually really hate TikTok. And what a passion, honestly. I know I shouldn't hate it as much as because it kind of put me on. But the thing is about TikTok, man, there's so many issues with it. And I just hate it. They're randomly putting my videos under review. They're randomly taking away the sound because I said nigga. I'm black. You know what I mean? They take down my sounds. They 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 try to give me like like community strikes or whatever. They just been they've been doing me dirty, bro. So honestly, I really just don't like TikTok, man. You got people literally, you know, saying <sighs> people are getting nine million views on vids that are extremely cringy. You know what I mean? Like, where's my view? Like, I know I get decent amount of views. Like, if y'all go to my TikTok page, which y'all can, y'all can go look at it, bro. But people get millions of views. Where is my mill? They just hold me, bro. So I don't like TikTok. Um, I really don't like it. If there was another app like TikTok, but different, I would be on there so fast. But I actually don't like TikTok at all. Next question. This is an extremely weird question, but I'm a boy lot mentality ignore his name right there that's not his name his, his name is lot mentality he said would you date james charles <laughs> i'm coffee man what's up with you bro or pokemon with no makeup 
But why did you want to ask me that? I am obviously not picking James Charles. I'm picking Pokemon, bro. Uh, I have no issue with Pokemon, and I'm definitely not dating no. Bro, I'm definitely not dating no James Charles, bro. Like, what do I look like? I'm. There's nothing wrong with gay people, but I am not gay. <laughs> not finna date a man. All right, next question by ooh, ooh, ooh. next question by my boy. My account got banned five. He's he asks, what is the stupidest thing you did when you were a kid? Honestly, this is actually an extremely hard question because when I was a kid, bro, and the generations are different, or like the way you grow up, or whatever you want to call it. When I was growing up, bro, I didn't actually do anything stupid. I never got suspended. I didn't get referrals. I wasn't a bad kid at all. So actually, I don't know what the stupidest thing is. I can name one, I guess. Uh, I was riding my bike one time, and I don't know, I was like obsessed. I didn't know how to ride a bike until I was like in the fifth, sixth grade. Yeah, that's pretty late, but I don't know. Once I learned how to ride the bike, I just had a, like a nice adrenaline rush in me. So I'm just, I'm riding the bike, I'm doing no handers, no no hands on the, you know, the, you know, the, what is it? On the, the thing, you know, since I'm doing no hands, no hands on it, one hand, eyes closed. So this is one time I was like, all right, I'm gonna do eyes closed with no hands on the, the thing. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna go crazy. It was me and my little cousin was riding bikes. I did that, bro. I was doing it. Bang! I got popped in the shoulder by a mailbox, bro, and it cut me. I still got the scar. I think it's like right under my armpit. I was bleeding a little bit, but not too much. I didn't really notice it, but my favorite shirt was ripped at the time. I was very upset. I think I did it right in front of my older brother and his friends. <clears throat> I'm sure they laughed, but you know, I don't smack any of them right now, but you know, I would really smack them. <laughs> War or two, but that's probably the dumbest thing I could think of right now, but I actually never did really nothing stupid when I was a kid, bro. So yeah. Next question is, what was the first game you've ever played? <sighs> first game I ever played was Dragon Ball Z Boy got Tenkaichi 2. I'm sure that is the first game on PS2. That was the first game I ever played. Now, I played plenty of games, but that was my favorite. Not my favorite game, but Dragon Ball Z Bunica Tenkaichi 3 is my favorite game of all time. But the first game I ever played was Tenkaichi 2. 3 is my favorite of all time. So that's the answer to that question. I played a lot of Naruto Storm. I see a profile picture of Sasuke, but that profile picture is actually fire. Don't switch it. But yeah, yeah, so we played a lot of Naruto Storm. Uh, any Naruto little games, we also played a lot of that, so, yeah. Alright, last question about my boy Skull. If you were to get famous like Corey, what would you do? Now, um, this is such a random question. But if I was but if I was as famous as Corey, man, I would be very scared. There's a lot of things you can't do no more. I'm a normal person. I can go outside. I can go to school. I can do everything normal. So, but when you get like that, you got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to, like, not do those type of things. I would be extremely excited, but then I don't really know, dude. It's just when it happens, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then it, it just doesn't. But I don't know, man. I would just try to influence people in the best of my ability. Besides that, I really don't know. Yeah, so that's the end of the Q&A, man. Hope y'all enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video up. Like for more Q&As. Um, FNAF is coming very soon. Get ready, bro. I'm so scared. So get ready for the FNAF. Until Dawn can possibly come back. But a lot of y'all, I don't think... I'm, some of y'all be watching Until Dawn, but let me know if y'all want me to continue that. But that would be next if I do do it. But yeah, like, subscribe, and...